Piper Stage 1 joints have intact medial and lateral collateral ligament systems. The disc remains normally aligned over the condyle at both poles during all movements. In Piper Stage 2, there is laxity of the lateral collateral ligament system. The disc typically is normally aligned over the condylar head. However, when pressure is placed through the external auditory ear canal, the disc will temporarily dislocate. Piper stage 3 discs are dislocated at the lateral pole. If there is reduction of the disc upon opening or translation of the condyle, then it is a Piper stage 3A. Piper 3B discs are dislocated at the lateral pole and remain locked out of position with mandibular condylar translation. This is anterior disc displacement at the lateral pole without reduction. In Piper Stage 4A there is laxity of the medial and lateral collateral ligament systems. The disc is dislocated from both poles. With translation of the mandible forward, the condyle will reduce beneath the disc. However, upon closure, the condyle will slip off of the disc once again. Piper Stage 4B has complete discal displacement from both poles. With mandibular condylar translation, there is no reduction of the condyle beneath the disc. The disc remains locked in front of the condyle with all mandibular movements. Piper stage 5A joints have complete dislocation of the disc. There is a perforation of the retrodiscal attachment with the condylar head directly communicating with the skull base bone. In stage 5A, the degenerative arthritis is actively unstable. Piper stage 5B joints have a perforation of the retrodiscal attachment with direct communication of the condyle against the skull base. The disc is degenerated and locked. There is degenerative arthritis of the articular surfaces, but this tends to be a more stable type of arthritis with minimal progressive change. 